What is up, Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel in the latest spring trout fishing adventure. Today, we're out on the big lake today, and I figured it would be a good opportunity to do a little bit of trolling and fish with the spin fish from Yakima Bait Company. This is a great bait imitator plug. You can add bait into this plug to get the attention of the trout and get some big hookups. So we're gonna fish with the spin fish today, see how many trout that we can catch. So let's get some lines wet and get on with this spin fish challenge. All right, guys, well, for today, we've got our rods back here and yes I don't have the normal trout rods today but we're gonna fish with the spin fish and add a little bit of scent to the end hook of these so we're fishing with the spin fish today and I got this red chrome today we're gonna add a little bit of gulp corn to the back trailer hook when we troll with this thing I got a one ounce lead up top and a fish flash from Yakima which is about a four inch fish flash and that's what we're gonna be fishing with today let's put this corn over here corn situated on my hook Again, get all rigged up and then get it out there. Perfect. Got my uh, corn on the hook. Then we're just gonna let this thing out. So I gotta wait. So my system today, I gotta wait. I got my flasher and I got my spin fish down here. We're gonna go out quite a ways with this, probably close to 100 feet. So we're just gonna keep letting some line out. All right. I don't know how far that's out, but we're just gonna let that hunt for a little bit. Okay. Rod number one, set up to go with the spin fish. I'm gonna set up rod number two here. Water's a little bit off color, so I'm gonna go with, uh, what color is this? Glow Cowgirl, that's a nice little color here. So we're gonna go with this one next. See if we can't uh, get a bite. I'm trying to pay attention, I'm fishing solo today, guys. Just a quick uh, trip out to the lake. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous today. Long leader on this spin fish, go something a little bit different. Again, let's go with corn on both, see how we start out with that and then We'll make adjustments accordingly here and got to be careful you don't spill this everywhere. Get one ounce lead. I got a one ounce lead up top. I got a nice chromey fish flash and I got the spin fish down here at the bottom. Perfect. And nibble on these spin fish. Again, 100 feet back is a lot of line, but there we go all the way back. Look at this. Just an absolutely freaking gorgeous day today. Again, it's supposed to be the warmest day of the year. It's gonna be exciting. Hopefully we get on some big ones. We got a rod that's got some schmutz on it. So I think we're just gonna keep this as straight as possible. Reel this one in for a second, see what's going on. We got some schmutz on this one. It's a long ways out of here. Yeah, I'm marking a lot of fish right now over here in this section, so just got to put it in front of them, I guess. Get it in front of their face enough. Oh yeah, that would be why. Flasher's all tangled up. Let's shift over here a little bit. Probably got this wrapped up when we turn to the corner. Well guys, first pass down, no biters yet. It, the water's about 50 degrees and I'm grabbing a ton of fish anywhere between five to 20 feet here on the graph. So there's trout around, they're just on the first pass, just no bites so far. But I actually haven't seen anybody catch one, but first 30 minutes, pass down, pass back, you know, grabbing a lot of trout around here. So I'm hoping just keep going through that section and they'll get, uh, they'll get bitey here in a minute. And hopefully with the sun coming out being the warmest day of the year, we should get on a really good noon afternoon bite today. Is that a fish? I think we got him fish, guys. Hang on, hang on. We might have our first fish of the day. Hold on. Finally, maybe got a bite. Been waiting for this all morning. Let's see what we got here. I think we may have gotten something here. Let's make sure we don't go into the bank. Start tricking out that way. Let's see, do we have a fish? You can actually hear that one. Let's see if we got one here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we do. We got our first trout of the day, guys. Let's go this way. Slow down. Got our first rainbow here. 
Come on, get him netted. Oh, he's splashing. Oh, there goes the bait. Oh, we're caught up, we're caught up. Where's the, where's the fish? Come here, there we go. <laughs> Holy cow, that took us a little while, guys. But we got one. Only took us a few passes, but we finally got a rainbow on the spin fish. Look at that. Nice pretty one. Let's get him unhooked. And then we will uh we will take a look good look at him. About freaking time we got one. Oh he did spit the hook. Oh perfect. Now let's get this hook out of here. Awesome. Here we go. Gorgeous fish about uh, I would say about 12 inches. Nothing too big, but look how shiny he is. Beautiful. <laughs> First one of the day. <laughs> Just took us a little bit. Well, I think the hook might have been jammed way in him. So I think what we're gonna have to do is keep him this guys. He is a stalker, so we're gonna keep him. And yeah, he is hatchery clipped. So let's keep him. I don't think he's gonna survive. So let's keep this guy. We weren't planning to keep any today, but Let's, uh, yeah, let's just keep it. Well, it took us a couple hours to finally get on the board with the first one. So we're gonna get the gear back down. I'm trying to see, I was in a, I was in quite a few feet of water. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna drop the gear back down and see if we can't get number two. Yakima chartreuse flasher. Got the uh, white and chrome spinfish there. And then I had a little bit of corn just dabbled right on the end. That's all it took. And he, uh, he had a good hook set in there. Yeah, he jammed those hooks good. Perfect, we'll get a little bit more corn back on it and get after it again. All right, first fish, first fish, yes! You know what that means? We got the skunk off the boat. This is feeling very fishy, you guys. I feel like we're gonna get a bite right through here. It's, the, the water looks good, the temp looks good. It's just feeling uber, uber fishy right here. Oh, well that would be why. I'm not catching anything, I got a leaf fish. There you go. Well, no wonder we didn't catch anything through that pass. That's why you always gotta check your gear. Let's check this one. That one just got rocked. I don't think there's a fish there, but man, that thing got throttled again. Nope, no fish. It's okay. They're not committing fully to it. I'm wondering, you guys, if it's just because they're seeing it and swiping at it. Might be smaller fish, too. I mean, the fish I caught earlier was about 12 inches. You didn't have the the biggest of mouths, so I'm wondering if it's just that they're swiping at it and just not getting themselves fully hooked. I mean, that happens. It happens for sure. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some light biters, and they're just not gonna. They're just not gonna get that. That big bite and takedown. And sometimes you just gotta. Uh, it is what it is. You just put it right in their face. They swipe at it and they just miss it, unfortunately. But no worries. We're gonna keep rocking and rolling here and see if we uh, make another pass through and see if we can't uh, tag ourselves with another good one. So going the same speed, same setup. All right, Mavericks, let's give it one more pass and see if we can't catch anything. Uh, last, last pass chance here. See if we can't muster up one last bite. Oh, there's one. <clears throat> the last pass fish right there. Just took us, it just took us a second to get there. Ooh. One last fish, there we go. Last pass. I was staring at that rod. <laughs> oh dang, this is a good one. Oh yeah, he's uh this is a good fish. Dang. Would not be surprised if the other rod gets hooked up. Man, he's tugging. This is actually a good one. Dang you guys, that was uh was about to end it on the last pass, there we go. Let's get him nice and easy in. There's the trout. Oh, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. This is a good one. See if I can get him in the net. Can I get him in the net? Oh, oh, there we go, we got him. <laughs> you guys, we got him, look at that. It's a nice, healthy one. Look at the size of that guy. Absolute chunker. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. With the corn. Yes, sir. Absolutely choke the corn with that spin fish. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Easy, bud. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, does he have another line in him? No way. We're gonna have to keep another fish, you guys. He's got another line in him. Show you guys him real quick. Nice big size one. Fortunately, we gotta keep him again. Somebody uh, has his has their line in him, and so we're gonna have to uh, keep number two. But that's okay. They're stock trout. I mean, it is what it is. Somebody had their line in him. Let's get out here and. Uh, Whew, there we go. <laughs> well, I'm not shocked we got another one right through there. In fact, we should probably to make one more pass through there. We're just passing through there for shit for uh, for giggles, just for one more pass. And what do you know? We had to keep them today. I mean, it is what it is when you got to keep them when they when they uh, somebody else has their somebody else has a line or a hook in them and uh, you lose them. But that's okay. I mean, stock fish. We're gonna eat them up and smoke them up tonight nice and good so there you go i was like oh this is gonna be the last pass hell no it happens every time i'm here at the lake Mavericks. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's spin fish challenge. And when you're going to pick one bait to go trolling for trout, you never know what you're going to get or what's going to happen. And I think we were really good and fortunate to get two fish into the net today. We got probably half a dozen bites, a lot of short strikers, just fish that wouldn't quite commit to the corn and the spin fish. But these are really fun challenges to go pick out one bait, get out on your local lake, and just troll with this bait no matter what the type of conditions. You know, I haven't been out on this lake in a month and conditions have changed pretty significantly and just picking one bait that makes the challenge uber tough today so i would say challenge completed we got two nice rainbow trout in today's episode and i gotta see i'm excited to be able to try more trolling for trout challenges so if you guys have other baits that you want me to troll with to get after a challenge drop a comment below and i will make sure that we add those to the list and get after some fun summer and springtime trolling for trout challenges so that's going to be a wrap for today's video thank you guys for watching as always hit the thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and as always you guys the outdoors is a gift share it with others